So now that we're, we have the file open, or that we know it exists, we need to open the file, right? And I already told you guys how to do that. So I'm just gonna grab my object and then do open text file. Look at that method right there. And then what parameters do I need? Does anybody know? Or does anybody know how to tell what parameters I need? Well, it's so easy guys. Hover over, put the cursor over the method, push F1 it will pull up the UFT help menu. And it has everything. You probably don't even need me. I'm just kidding, you need me to give you the fast, concise instructions. But if you're ever lost, you just come here. It has everything, look at this. Open text file method. Look at all the parameters it takes. I'm gonna copy those and put these in your notes. What else? We can open up the arguments to learn more about the arguments. Go and expand this and look, the object is obviously required. The file name is required. Input output mode is optional. And this is optional, that's optional. So let's see. So the file name we need, and what's that gonna be? That's going to be this file. Again, see that variable reuse? Gonna give a comma. And now, are we opening opening this file for reading, which will allow me only to read, for writing, which will allow me to write into it, or for appending. So, let's say I put for appending. And the only tricky thing is that these constants, they actually have values. So you need to replace them with integer values. And I'll put these here for you. So for example, for appending, That's eight. And for writing is two. So we want to do four pending. So let's put an eight in there. And then what this does is it returns us an object. So it's gonna return us the file, right? Because first we're dealing with the file system. And once we narrow it down to a file, now we will be able to work with that file. So. If we're getting an object returned, how do we do that? Well, we use the set keyword, and then we get some variable. I'm going to call this file because it returns us that file that is specified on this path. And now with this object, we will be able to do stuff to that file. So let's take a look. Oops, forgot to declare my variable, silly mistake. And let me put this here, just so I can put a breakpoint there, so I can show you guys. Check it out, now we have an OBJ file that if we want, allows us to do things. Give it a second to open. Look, this is our file. 